Hey, it's Lavinia's Math Masters here, and I want to do like a quick tribute uh, for Mother's Day, and I guess it's a tribute. I recently lost my mom in August 2014, about six, seven months ago, and this has been one of the most difficult and trying times of my life. Uh, no one can, nothing or no one can prepare you for the loss of something so near and dear to you as your mother. And uh, I've had friends and loved ones lose their mother and my heart went out for them. But until I had to taste that bitter cup, feel that, that, that painful sting of losing my own mother, um, it is something that I never phantom. Uh, and so it's somewhat of a tribute. And I, I, I don't know if I'm using the right word when I say tribute, but I try to find closure or uh, justification as to why I have such a hard time with the loss of my mother. And this is what the Spirit gave to me. And I want to give it to you, to those who have lost your mom or your grandmother or your aunt or that special woman that played the mother in your life that loved you like no other has loved you. The reason why, and this is my opinion, this, and this is not the main reason, I feel this is one of the reasons why we seem to suffer or hurt so bad at the loss of a mother, is because a good mother has unconditional love for her child. And I say a good mother, a good loving mother, because there are bad mothers out there, unfortunately, but a good mother a good mother, an awesome mother, has unconditional love for her child. And that is what we are missing. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing that person that no matter what I've done in life, no matter what I've said, no matter who I am, or no matter who I've become, that one person that loves me through everything was my mother and every child admit it every child every individual every adult wants to be loved they want to be accepted they want to be heard they want to know that they have a place in this world and nobody can make you feel that way than your mother and that is what my mother was to me she showed me unconditional love I had the big forehead, the buck teeth, everything as a child. Pigtails flying everywhere. But you could not tell her that her daughter was the most beautiful child she ever had. All of her children, all four of us, sing off key. And she would say, my baby sing like an angel. This is the unconditional love that my mother had for me. This is the unconditional love that your mother has for you, or if she's gone on to glory, had for you, you know, had in the past tense. And this is what we are missing. And this is why we grieve so, because we miss knowing that in spite of everything, when I was wrong, she showed me unconditional love. When I was disrespectful, she showed me unconditional love. When I couldn't see my way, she knew the way, but I thought I did. She showed me unconditional love. When I did things defiantly against her, she still showed unconditional love for me because I was her child. She gave me life. She worked she slaved. She did the best that she could to provide food, shelter, sanity, a home with love and care. The best that she could. The best of her ability. She gave me unconditional love. She didn't care how I looked. She didn't care how I sound. She didn't care how I walked. She didn't care how I talked. I was her child and that and with that came unconditional love for me when I was sick when I was up 
If I failed in school, if I passed, she cheered for me. If I failed, she scolded me because she wanted me to do better in life. She wanted me to have more. She saw the potential in me. And that's what a good mother sees in every child. They see the potential. Sometimes it seems like they're hard on us. Sometimes it feels like they don't love us. It's not that they don't love us. They Sometimes they got to show us tough love because they want us to live to our full potential. They want us to go for every shooting star there is, every opportunity that is ill for us. They want us to be able to have it. Every door that God opens they want us to walk through it. Unconditional love. I said all that to say this. This is one of the main reasons, many reasons that I miss my mom. This Mother's Day is coming up. And I almost got depressed. Uh, as you can see, I've picked up some of my weight back because I have been eating since her death, grieving uh, the loss of her. And she was a wonderful, beautiful person. She was hard on me, though. Woo! Jesus! That lady was hard on me. But I loved her. I loved her to the moon and back. To the depths of the ocean and back. I love that woman because I know she loved me. She saw something in me that I didn't see. She didn't want to see me on the streets. She didn't want to see me hulled out, you know, with a bunch of men and, and, and a bunch of babies and, and nobody to take care of me and, and or, 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 or with bad habits and not knocking that, you know, because we still fall short. I still fall in short in my life. But with because of her unconditional love and what she taught me and what she instilled in me, it has brought me to this place. And I miss her. And this Mother's Day will not be the same without my mama on this earth. I didn't have to see her every day. But to know that she was just a phone call away. We take a lot of things for granted. And I promise you, I miss my chick. That was my chick right there. That was my girl. That was She made me laugh even when she wasn't trying to be funny. She was a hoot. My mama would pray for me. My mama would sing to me. My mama would tell me that God already worked it out. She had faith in me. And I looked up to her. I looked up to her. And she wanted me to look up to things greater. Nobody was greater than her to her. Nobody was greater than her to me. I'm trying not to get emotional. I'm so sorry. But to those that have lost their mothers and that feel alone, cherish those memories. Cherish those moments. Remember them. Embrace them. Know what your mom has instilled in you. She loved you. You know you had a good mama. You know when you had a great mama. You know when you had a good mama. Yeah, you got mad because she disciplined you. You got mad because she talked about you. But she did it because she loved you. She wanted you to be better than her. She wanted you. To have more out of life. She wanted you to succeed. You know you had you a good mama. I had a good mama. I had a queen baby. I had a queen. And I miss her. And those of you that still have your mamas. Baby you better take care of them. You better love them. I used to love to go shopping for her. And dress her up. Because I remember when I was a little girl, she took pride. She took pride in buying me brown corduroy outfits that I did not like. But she loved it. She took pride in picking it out. But anyway, I'm having a moment. I just wanted to share that with you. 
this is why one of the reasons I feel that we grieve so deeply when we lose our mommies because we know our mommies had unconditional love for us. Nobody loved us like our mamas. Be blessed.